today's video, Pedali is walking in a high distraction place. This is downtown on a weekend day with a medieval fair right next to us. We are in the middle of lots of people, other dogs, children's sounds, smells and even a horse that was walking close by. For those reasons, I keep a high rate of reinforcement and a high rate of releases. Remember that when I release her, I am allowing her to sniff and be a normal dog for a while. Keep in mind that if I see that she is getting ahead of me and will be pulling in a second, I automatically do something that counterbalances that. I call her right away and start moving in the other dire direction if I have to. Also note that many times I throw the food away from us or I move away from the dog when delivering the food. I do this because delivering food this way creates motivation, drive and engagement. Under this high distraction place, it is very important to be one step ahead of what she's going to do. That is why I am trying to be animated and interesting to her, so that I do not lose her attention. It is never too much to state my golden rule of leash walking. If she pulls, she does not get to move forward. I can call her, I can be still like a post, I can move the other way. What I will not do is to move in the direction that she is pulling. Okay, so here we are in a very high distraction place. This is pretty much as high as you could get. Perhaps it, if, if there was lots of dogs walking up and down the street, it would be a little bit more. But this is busy, there's lots of sounds and people and the game is, is the same as I've been playing with Pedala up until this point. If she looks at me and provides reinforcement, I also will allow her to sniff the trees and be a dog for a little bit every now and then. There's a release there, then I do the standard collar back and mark behavior provide additional reinforcement. You can see that she wants to check people out. Over there I saw that she was about to go ahead of me so I went the other way. And as soon as... so she, she was losing a little bit of focus for a little bit there. And as soon as she gave me some attention I marked behavior, I provided reinforcement, and then I released them. So I, I was kind of losing her focus, losing some engagement. As soon as I got it back, I, I, I made a big deal out of it. And now I got her back, so to speak. And here an interesting thing happened, I decided uh, to see if she would do a sit for me. I asked the sit uh, when I stopped and she didn't, so I waited for about 4 or 5 seconds, I just waited. And then I asked again. I didn't do anything, I didn't say sit, 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 over and over until she did it. I just waited for a little bit and I asked again. And then as soon as she did, I jumped away from her. This second clip is the say is um, was shot in the same avenue, just the opposite side, and I decided to to bring Perla here because there's a little a little bit more opportunities uh, for me to release her and go sneak the trees. Notice that the leash is. Uh, is not being pulled, there's no tension on the leash, the leash is pretty much bouncy all the time, which is good. And this is another clip in which Pedro seems to be a little bit more uh, tired, probably she's, uh, she's a little bit more satiated of this new environment, so it's not anymore such a big deal, such a new thing that she needs to check out so she's a little bit more manageable and controllable. Satiation is important. If you 
if a dog gets to a new place in the beginning it's a little bit more difficult to control and manage but then as soon as you gets used to this new environment it becomes a little bit easier to train the dog or to walk if you get to a high distraction place and the dog gets completely overreactive and does not pay attention to you no matter what you do it means that you took a very large step from the previous training condition to this new one go back and try to find a place that would be a distraction in between the previous one and this one this training is done step by step for both owner and dog and sometimes we, we just take a step that is too big for the current level of training. Also remember that if you tire your dog, it will be easier to handle him under high distractions. I want to thank all the people that have subscribed to our YouTube channel so far and wish you all a great day. See you next time.